Hi guys, welcome back to Lindsay Loves. Today I have an Old Navy try on haul for you and this one is special because it's just for Valentine's Day. So I have lots of good pieces, lots of pinks and reds and a few heart things, but these are pieces that could be worn any time of year, not just Valentine's Day. Um, and I also have a few pairs of jeans to try on along with those. So I'm really excited for this one. As always, everything is linked down below. Let's go ahead and get started. So I am not a huge pink and red um, wear, I just am usually more muted colors, but I feel like for holidays especially, it's just really fun to do something different and embrace the holiday season, whatever that holiday is, and right now we're coming up on Valentine's Day, so I thought a lot of red and pink would be perfect, but I also have some neutral things. Um, but how cute is this first top? I love the coloring in this. You have all of these really cool baubles and cable knit. So it's a really cool texture to all of it. It has this really gorgeous knit to it. So it has a little bit of white in there with the pink and then some big chunks of like a burgundy red color. So it's so festive, so pretty for this time of year. And obviously you could wear this all winter and spring and it would look gorgeous. Um, but I just love this. I have a half tuck going, um, but it's long enough. Obviously you could wear it just fine like that. I have a size medium, which is my normal size. And I wish I would have sized down to a small so I would say unless you want it to be a little bit more oversized like this I would size down one um, I think for this kind of sweater I would appreciate having it be a little more form-fitting love this one does have a little bit of wool in it it has five percent I don't feel like it's crazy scratchy and irritating but it is something to be aware of if you need to wear a top underneath it or something like that you could and then these jeans are a pair of their skinny rock star jeans I believe but these are their flex kind so they have a similar jean that's going on to the Express Flex jeans and to the Amazon jeans that I talked about in my last haul, um, which is just that they're really stretchy and so they can fit a variety of sizes. Um, I have definitely gained weight during the last two years of not really being able to leave home, and so I definitely appreciate the stretch. These are a size 8 to 12, and these fit me really well. I'm usually 6 to 8 or so, um, and so I love these because they have a ton of stretch. They're going to be really comfortable. These are super high-waisted, and I got a long um, because I am 5'8", and these work really well. So if you are my height, I would suggest getting the longs, but these are great. Super comfy, no distressing just a simple basic skinny jean that you could wear with anything and really like it with this bright pop of pink and then throughout the video I'm just going to be wearing my coach loafers I love these so much so we're just going to keep it focused on the clothes today and of course the jewelry I will tell you what I am wearing because these are perfect pieces for Valentine's Day I want to quickly share my two heart necklaces today because those are obviously perfect for this time of year. And again, you can wear these all year round. But this one is cute. It has a double heart clasp. So that's actually how the necklace opens and closes is by a hinge on this. And then if you don't want to wear it with the heart in front, um, I sometimes wear it to the side. I think that's really cute. And then it's just a plain, really pretty chain. Um, so you could turn it all the way around and just wear it as a regular chain if you want to do that. These are both really good layered. And then this one is perfect because it has a locket charm that you can add onto it. So this is just the regular kind of link chain necklace that's been so popular the last few years. Clasp opens right here and you can wear it in front like they show it or you can wear it in back if you don't like that look. What's cool about the clasp is that you can add charms onto it or to any of the links. Um, but I like this one in front because it's a bigger charm. So on this side you have a little heart padlock and on the other other side it has the word love so no matter which way you wear it I think that's really cute and then I always like to layer chains so layering both of these in particular I think is really adorable and if you like this one a lot it also comes in a set that has pearls um, which is a really gorgeous look so either way they're both beautiful and I love both of them love layering them so that is the first outfit. Let's go ahead and go on to the next one. Here is our first heart piece. I love this cardigan so much. I love that it has the white trim on the edges there. I think that really adds something to it. And it has the ribbing along the cuffs and the hem and then along the button area. There's our heart right there. It's a little cream heart. I think it's subtle and not too like juvenile. I feel like anybody could wear this and it would look really cute. Then let me show you the cami I have on underneath this because I think 
think it is really gorgeous to layer and then you could obviously wear this into the summer so there is what the cami looks like it is so beautiful bright red so gorgeous and it has these beautiful pink roses all over it has the fabric covered buttons that go all the way down so it's really nursing friendly and it has adjustable straps in the back one of my biggest pet peeves with camis is when they don't have adjustable straps so this is amazing i love this cami i got a medium and it fits true to size for the cardigan, I sized down to a small, so if you want it to be oversized, you could get your regular size, but if you like this look, which is a little more slim fitting, um, then I would suggest going a size down. But no wool in this one, super, super soft and cozy, and I just think this look, whether you have it open or buttoned up, I think it's just gorgeous. This would be a really fun look for Valentine's Day. I love this sweater even more than I thought I would. I think it is so gorgeous and it doesn't scream Valentine's Day in a way that you feel like you could only wear it, you know, for a week in February. This is something you could wear all winter long. It's a great transitional piece into spring. Um, the colors are just so happy and light, so I love it. This is a size medium and you do have a mock neck there. You have a drop shoulder that kind of puffs out a little bit and I really love that detail. Not too cropped I can tuck it into high-waisted jeans but even if I had regular jeans um, I don't think it would be a problem at all super soft I love the texture on it very very cute and yeah I love this one so much I will also link a similar one from Target I haven't gotten it in yet so I can't tell you how it actually feels in person but on the website it's very cute so I'll link that if you don't like the puff sleeve option or the mock neck that one is just a plain crew neck with straight sleeves so it is similar in color though so I will link both of those below but yeah just a simple outfit nothing too crazy but this is right up my alley and if you're a little bit afraid of red this is a good way to wear a little bit of it without feeling overwhelmed so love this one very very much this one does not go with my color theme very well I think on the website it looked a little bit different um, but this top is so romantic that I had to include it and it's gonna be gorgeous for the springtime as well so I love the open little buttons there very tiny go all the way up to the top and then you have this lace cutout detail it's not gonna show anything bra wise so you're good there has the same detail there on the sleeve and a little bit of a puff sleeve that's really gorgeous it does have a button on the cuff there and then it just kind of billows out it's a really poetic kind of romantic blouse it's really breathable so it's gonna be really nice as you're going into spring um, and I like it open like this but I also like it tucked in of course and I feel like you could open a few of these buttons at the top and that would be really pretty yeah I definitely love it open a little bit more I feel like it makes it a little less prim and proper and I love that you can see my necklaces better um, when I have it open a little bit so that is a really cute look um, definitely a romantic sweet blouse this is a really cute sweater. I love the details on this. When you get up close, you have all of these really gorgeous speckles again with the pink and kind of a dark purpley burgundy and the yellow. So really, really gorgeous. I love it. Um, it's a tunic length. I size down to a small for my usual medium and it fits really well. So I would say size down one if you don't want it extra baggy. It's still plenty long enough as a tunic that you could wear skinny jeans or leggings with it and it would look really cute. Has a little bit of like a u-shaped neck and then I paired it with these jeans these are the power slim straight jeans I believe these are a mid-rise but they go right below my belly button um, they're really soft they have some stretch to them I actually got the longs and I had to cuff them up which is not usual for me so I feel like I probably could have done with the regulars um, even at 5'8 I also don't mind cuffing them because I feel like if I wore taller boots with a heel, I might want to have a little bit more length. So either way, they would be fine. But I really love these pants. They're super comfortable. They fit me really well. I got a size 8 and they fit perfectly. So I definitely love this cut of jean. Um, and I kind of want to go back and see what other washes they have. Obviously, this is the black, but I know they have tons of denim washes as well. So really like this outfit. Super comfy, but still really cute. All right, this is definitely the most Valentine's of all of the shirts, um, but I just thought it was so cute, so I had to add it in there. This is perfect if you don't want a lot of color, but you still want to look a little festive for the day. Um, it has a heart with kind of 
different sized, um, I don't know what you call those, different sized tops of the heart. Um, and then it is a little bit cropped, I would say. Um, these are mid-rise, like I said, but it's just barely hitting that, so it is a little shorter. And then I love the sleeves because they're a puff sleeve, and so they have these gathering areas on the sweatshirt, which is not a normal sweatshirt thing, so I think it adds a little bit to it. Super easy way to just be really casual and chill on Valentine's Day and still be really cute. And again, this is something that you could wear all year long and it's going to be really nice. has a nice fleecy inside, so it's definitely very soft and really love this one too. Definitely love this. This is such a pretty shade of pink. It's almost like a dusty rose. Um, not quite as bright as the first sweater, um, but just a little bit. It is the softest thing ever. It is so thick and cozy and comfortable. I love this one. Um, it has just the plain details going down the buttons and then all of the ribbing details of the knit um, on the rest of the cardigan. Love that you could wear this open as a regular cardigan or wear it as a sweater like like I'm doing front tucked it a little bit but you can see how long it is it is on the shorter side but not too short so I switched jeans this is a pair of their warmer jeans which are supposed to have kind of almost like a fleece lining on the inside and this is a boyfriend cut so it's a little bit more slouchy um, this particular pair and I think all of them um, definitely run big so I would say go down a size I'm usually more leaning towards an eight these days. I got this in a six tall and they fit me really well. So if you're interested in these, I think they were on sale last time I checked and I would definitely say size down one. The tall works out really well for me. They hit right at my ankle and they're definitely very comfortable, just a little slouchy and they feel broken in and nice. So love those, really love this look, love this whole outfit and the sweater is really doing it for me. I just think it's gorgeous. This is definitely the most casual of all of the tops, but I wanted to throw it in here because this colorway is just too cute for Valentine's Day to not include it. I love this. So you have a burgundy on the top and then kind of a dusty rose color on the bottom. This snaps all the way up so you can wear it like this and have the little edging right there on the collar and on the sleeves, which is really cute. Or you can button it all the way up and have it be like a turtleneck pullover. Either way, it would be adorable. This does have pockets on each side and they actually go through from one side to the other so it's a big kangaroo pocket but it doesn't add bulk like a lot of those do on hoodies so I really love that. It also has these toggles on the inside so you can pull this a lot tighter if you want to and really like cinch it in and keep it from going anywhere but this is definitely on the cropped side not too short but it just is a little cropped. The sleeves are kind of big and wide really cozy and nice. Um, again this is a all winter and fall long piece. This isn't just a Valentine's Day piece, but I really love this. It's so like nubby and comfortable, really, really soft. And I just think it looks really cute. It'd be cute with joggers, but it's also cute with a pair of jeans. I really love this one. It's definitely a comfortable piece if you're just staying in for the holiday this year. I love this piece as well. Super simple, but it's just so feminine. I love this color. Um, I feel like this is also an easy one to pull off if you're not big into the bright colors and the bright pinks and reds. So it's just a simple mock neck sweater. Really, really comfy. It's just like a cottony blend and it doesn't have a lot of crazy details. It's very simple and classic, which I love because it's not going to go out of style in six months. You can wear this for years to come. Um, and I just love the fit of it. It's really a nice length. You can wear it untucked and it looks great and you can also wear it tucked and it looks wonderful too. I got my regular size medium and it fits me perfectly. It's not too tight, not too loose, just a really good fit and I think it really looks nice with a pair of jeans um, but you could obviously dress that up with some dress pants, some work pants. That would also be really nice so I think no matter how you style this you can't go wrong. It's going to be a really nice piece that's going to last you a long time.
I'm loving this outfit too. I feel like this was a really good haul for things, so I'm really excited about this one. Um, but I have a few pieces to share with this. So first, underneath, I have kind of this waffle Henley tank top. So it has buttons that go down kind of midway, and then it's just a tank top. I believe it's a racerback style, and I like that these are functional buttons, so great for nursing. Um, but this is just really comfortable. I just wanted something that was a little tone on tone um, so that I could put this wrap top over it. This is like a thin sweatshirt. It definitely has that really warm fleece inside like a regular sweatshirt would. It's just thinner. Um, so I feel like it's more flattering than like a big bulky sweatshirt, but it's definitely going to still keep you warm with that fleece lining. So this is a true wrap style. It goes all the way around and you can adjust it and tie it however you want, which I really, really love. So I have this one kind of tied right here, but you could also kind of tighten this up here if you didn't want to wear something over it and just kind of adjust it like that. And that would be fine too. That's also cute. I love a little something extra peeking through. And so you could do something like that bright red tank top that I showed earlier with the flowers and that would be gorgeous. Or you can do something more subtle like this and either way is cute. But I love this sweatshirt. It's really gorgeous. It fits true to size and I just think it's it's so, so soft and comfy. You could wear this around the house or you could wear this out on a date night, I feel like, because of the little bow and the wrap detail. I just think it dresses it up a little bit. And then finally, these jeans are a pair of their Rockstar skinny jeans. Usually not a big fan of skinny jeans right now, but I do love a good pair of black skinnies. I feel like that's kind of an essential. Um, you always can use a black pair of skinnies. They're so classic. They're going to go with everything. I got these in a tall, and again, you guys, I'm I'm having to cuff up like a good two or three inches, which is nuts. The other great thing about these is that they have a raw hem, so I can actually kind of chop off a little bit more if I wanted to. Um, I don't know how short the regulars are, so this might be a better option to just keep these and hack off a little bit more. Um, but they are super, super stretchy, which I absolutely love, and they are probably the highest waisted pants I would own. Um, they go way past my belly button. My belly button is right there, and they're all the way up to here, so... If you can see, that is quite a big rise, um, but I kind of love it. I love that the buttons accentuate it and kind of give it some more shape than just a big panel of fabric. These are super comfortable. I got a size 8. Like I said, they're super stretchy, so they fit really well and no distressing other than that raw hem, which especially with black jeans, you can't even really tell. So I still think they look really dressy and really gorgeous. I'm definitely wanting to keep these, even though they're incredibly high-waisted. They have some stretch to them, so they're going to be, still be comfortable, which I really appreciate. So I think we found a lot of great Valentine's pieces in this haul and just some clothing in general to kind of spruce up your wardrobe for this time of year as we go from winter to spring. I love injecting some more cheerful pieces like this, even if it's not warm enough to go full on, you know, short sleeve yet. We still have several months of winter where I am, um, but this is a way to make it more fun and a little bit more spring-like. All right, that about does it for our Old Navy try and haul today. I hope that you guys find some good Valentine's Day goodies to pick up for yourself or as a gift, and I hope that you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Please like and subscribe this video if you haven't already so you don't miss any more, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.